So that's how you add sugar. Yep, you just take a big blob of silver, stick it on a piece of rod, and then you slowly heat it up. And the blank has to be a certain temperature, and it'll stick to it. And then you can see... Uh-huh, that's cool. Just bloop right on there. And that's silver fume, and that gives that color change effect. That is super cool. all five of these. And you can fume with silver, gold, palladium. Like, you can do copper if you have good ventilation. Sure, sure. All sorts of weird ass fucking shit. Just depending on how good your ventilation is. And you can layer the, uh, you can layer the metals for a different effect, too. Okay. Like, if you put, um, if you put a base of silver down, that gives you yellows, blues, little hints of greens. If you add gold, that gives you pinks, purples. If you layer the two, you can get several different shades. Okay. Several different shades of different colors, depending on how you layer them. You can put the gold down first. You can put the silver down first. Cool. all sorts of So can you only like fume like a type of metal? Um, you can you can fume silver, gold. Those are about the safest. You need high purity metals to do what it needs to. Sure, sure. Um, you can definitely fume with like some alloys, palladium, titanium, stuff like that, and they'll give varying effects. Silver and gold are pretty much the standard. Because um, if you can buy silver for 20 bucks and that coin I bought a coin a year and a half ago and I got half left. Okay, like, okay. So I mean and it only cost me 24 bucks with spot pricing and seller fees. True, true. Okay, I see something I gotta pick up and show the camera. Look at that. It's itty bitty, and I promise you it is functional. It is functional. You can look at it until it's functional. That thing is off. I was trying to break the Sherlock's. Still haven't gotten those fucking things down there. But it looks dope as shit. There's that, man. <laughs> that was it. That was last one. Oh, man, look at that. We got all five fumed out. We can start color. Less than five minutes. Less than five minutes. Yeah, but it, now, if I had sat in there and done each individual one, right, you know, that would take longer for each bite. Right. But I got all five done in under five minutes, and now I can focus my time on doing the fun part. You have a little, you have a smart little system about it, obviously. I try to. <laughs> I don't know if your smart system is something we should be putting on YouTube that other people take. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know, I'll probably get a bunch of messages when this video goes like, You gave away your industry secret. I mean, have you fucking seen, like, any of the videos on YouTube? For real, though. Like, that's all YouTube is, is just the huge sharing information, like... And that's exactly it. And there's some old schoolers who don't like it, you know, they feel that... Some things should remain secret and out of the out of the public eye, and I understand that. But at the same time, like if everybody's growing, everybody's learning these new techs, everything, everybody's doing stuff. 
just pushes everybody harder to, to level up. Exactly. You know, yeah. nobody can grow stagnant. Everybody has the same information. Yeah. So, without a doubt. Fuck it, just go for it. One, really? of my, uh, one of my favorite glass blowers, Paul Taylor, like, he puts out these lessons on Patreon, and they're fucking fabulous. They're okay. fucking fabulous. They're oh, yeah. like two hours long, and they are step by step detailed about how to do some of the coolest shit. And he just tells everybody there's no such thing as a biter. Like, if you've got, if you think that your tech is only one that you can do and blah 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 and you're the only one that can make X go do something else right you know yep. there's no such thing as a biter I mean it just goes right into something that I always say don't get stuck in a complacent place yep like period yep don't get stuck I explain it to these guys all the time, like, all glass is is a bunch of little steps. Right. Yep. Man, that's fucked up. Need some of that CBD salve lotion there. Right. <laughs> no lie, that's what I rubbed on this little burn. Right, like, because <clears throat> like right before I was going into work, I was taking a dab, and then all of a sudden, like, I dropped my torch on my wrist. I was like, ow, 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 shit. Oh, shit. And then all of a sudden, Alex pulled up on the other side, because uh, I was on the north side. Wow. So like, I just like grab my stuff and I run in and like I'm opening up and everything. And then afterwards, like I'm looking back and I'm like I'm seeing all like the samples and stuff. I seen uh, the Purple Valley little salve lotions there. And I was like, why not? I rubbed some of it on there. I was like, wow. That stopped, like, the burning. Like, it is just instant. I was like, that, honestly, I'm going to use that for burns from now on. Yep. I don't mind the burns so much. It's the fucking, it's the cuts that get me. Oh, I guarantee it. Because that shit is so fucking sharp. Right. I don't even feel it half the time until I'm bleeding. Right, right. I get that you one. You know, and then I got blood all over my bench, and then I got to fucking, like, you know, usually it comes in the middle of something when I can't stop. Right. So I'm bleeding fucking everywhere, can't stop, can't can't put the piece down. Trying not to bleed on the piece. Trying not to bleed on the piece. Like, <laughs> just fucked up. Like, right. Fucked up. <laughs> so... Almost everything dies at a cup top cruise. Yeah. And I get tested pretty fucking regularly, so <laughs> I'm not terribly worried about a little bit of blood here and there. After bleeding, it just it's just a reminder you're still living. Yep. I kind of view it as the as the glass gods taking their payment. Fair enough. Fair enough. I get that one. Usually happens every time I fucking figure out something or level up on something or, you know, something's giving me a problem and then the next day it fucking clicks. Right. Guaranteed to fucking cut or burn myself. <laughs> Guaranteed. fucking <laughs> God damn, these fucking things are not fucking happening to Like the other day I skinned my knuckle all bad and like 
I couldn't really put like a band-aid on it because it wouldn't really fit because it was really, like as my knuckle bends, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I ended up just like putting the paper towel in there and then just a bunch of tape and I was just like, yep, yep. I'm going to walk around with tape on my finger for a couple days. Fucking ain't been there, done that. Like, yep. you got to do what you got to do and get it, get it working. Yep. I have some pink high tape in my car just because of that. Because my mom, uh, my mom used to get that like because it's like a medical grade kind of tape because it's yeah. uh, water resistant type stuff. Yeah. And because uh, she had like a port that went like directly into her heart. Oh okay. Yeah. So she had to have like that water resistant tape to be able to like put Swimming, plastic over that. Exactly. Bathing. Yeah. So like, I still have a bunch of that tape. So anytime like I get cut or burned or anything and I gotta tape up, I'm like, that's the tape. That's the tape. Because it's water resistant, and if I bleed all kinds inside of it, it's still gonna stay. It's still gonna be stuck there. Like, yeah, love that shit. Oh yeah. I used to use that shit all the time for like scars and burns and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Like, like, I love that shit. Right. That and to be real honest, it's pink tape. It's pink How tape. can you not like it? It's pink. It's, it's pink cool. tape. Definitely just had a high moment for a moment. I watched you take that bigger piece off the bigger piece, you know what I'm saying? But there for a second, I was just like, how the hell did that get so big? <laughs> I was like, wait a second. I was like, wait. And I was like, yep, no, just a high moment. Uh, yep, just a high moment. <laughs> well, that's exactly it. Like, when you're doing wrapping rates, you're actually adding a bunch of glass by adding the color and then the three mil rod. Right. <laughs> so you can actually blow this out to an outer diameter of about 40 millimeters. Oh, damn. Like, in the beginning, it will only have like a wall weight of like one or two millimeters. Right. But you can definitely do it. Damn. But I generally, I generally start with a, with a 25 mil and then I, uh, blow it out a little bit bigger and then I let it condense back so it gets super thick so that the walls on them are like two three millimeters thick sure. Sure. I figure I figure give it a little bit thicker wall weight it helps it not be so fragile right so I mean glass is always fragile the glass will always have a breaking point no matter how fucking big or thick or strong or well annealed you have it, yep. it has a breaking point. Yeah. But I try to sort the venue this much breaking. True, okay. And especially for for smoking stuff, like everybody forgets them on their fucking laps. Everybody yeah. forgets them on the you know, like myself included. Oh, like yeah. 
same. So I try to I try to use that stoner logic and be like, okay, make thicker walls. You might get one or two drop checks out of them right. before it'll go. Right. Yeah, that Pi Pi uh, house that you made? Yeah. I almost dropped in this the other day. Fucking, uh, there's a, of course, it was in my lap. I'm sitting there smoking, chilling, in my show. And then, uh, I look up, and because I was like, just, I was chilling outside my house in my car. And like, I look up, and my, one of my dogs is outside my yard, just running around, hanging out. So I just immediately, like, go to, like, get out. And, like, as I, like, just barely moved the leg, I felt it move. So I was like, no. <laughs> Put that down. Then I got out. I was like, all right, hey, dog, get in the yard. I was all scared. Because that's literally, I have like a good seven or eight pipes total, but like two of which I'll actually use on the regular. Besides that one. And I don't even use any other pipes anymore. It's literally the only pipe I use. Man, honestly, it's either that or it's my ball. Honestly, the main reason is because, like, not many pipes can hit smooth but hard. You know what I'm saying? That's where I really like my kit to be, is smooth but holy fuck. Exactly. Yeah, I was really, really thoroughly impressed the very first time I hit that thing and just instantly fell in love. And honestly, like, the colors on that one just makes me think of mine. So I was like, I, that's why I, I brought mine up. Yep. Because it looks... I think, I think yours was made with uh, light red Elvis. Okay. That's what I had in stock. It does the same damn thing, it's just a different company. Right, right. Yeah, no, that thing is a beast. I've had to clean it out a couple of times already and I've only owned it for like, maybe six weeks. <laughs> Not yet. That's what I like to hear. Like, really nothing makes me happier than knowing all my friends are using the shit I've made. That Honestly, I... fucking tickles me. With me, I, like, another thing, I just think it's cool, like... Like, if I'm sitting there smoking with some random, like, some new person or something, or some somebody I haven't smoked with in a while. For instance, I was showing smoke with a couple friends I ain't seen for probably a good six, eight months. And we're smoking, and he was like, dude, I like this pipe. I was like, dude, I know the person that made it. He's like, that's dope. I was like, right? It is a pretty nice bragging point when you can be like, I know the person that made this. Yeah, like it really is. It's cool as shit. He's like, oh, hell yeah. I'm like, yeah, like, like legit know this person. Like, I, like, I could go like see this person. Like, I was then, like, he's like, hell yeah, this is dope as hell. And then like, I, I started telling him about like, at some point in time, we're gonna end up like, videotaping you and like, we're, we're gonna put you on YouTube because like, I'm curious about it. So therefore, other people have got to be curious about it. Like, <coughs> fucking a. I don't feel like I'm like anything that I'm curious about. I don't feel like I'm the only one. No, you probably aren't. I never do. Like, I just never feel like you're that. You're probably more upfront than other people about it, but you're probably not the only one. Right. And especially now, I mean, we've got two seasons of Blown Away, which has got people fucking freaking out about glass and shit again. Right. Which is fucking dope. But that's soft glass, you know, and it's a totally different process than what we're doing here. I mean, at right. least the second season had uh, Mike Shelbo on there, and he's a clean worker. He's a lamp worker, you know, so he could actually, like... show some representation. Right. Whereas most of the other guys are soft glass workers. And they work in those big furnaces and shit. Right. I Which is you. cool. I'd love to try that one time. But like, this is really what I love. I love sitting at this fucking porch and just hanging it out. It makes the it makes the world disappear. Like all my problems, all my bullshit, all my all I my could, stresses, all my worries. I could very, very easily see that, honestly. I really, really could. Gone. Just fucking gone. 
I don't even care if I, you know, I got three bucks in my bank account and I'm freaking out about money before I get here. The second I turn my torch on, money don't exist. Right. It's just like, I don't fucking care. I'm making shit. It's like an escape. Say what? I said it's almost like an escape. Very much an escape. And I've always... I get that one entirely. I've always tried to escape my reality in some way or form. Oh yeah, same you here. Know, drugs, same here. books, video games. Yup. Fucking whatever I could. Exactly. This is definitely the healthiest hobby I had. Right, right. <laughs> like, this is definitely the healthiest, like... I could not agree more and understand more, you know what I'm saying? Like, me messing with my YouTube stuff is, like, my newest hobby. And, like, it's That's definitely... That's a pretty healthy hobby. Straight up. That's a pretty healthy hobby. <laughs> like, especially considering I've, I've had drug addictions, like, I've, had, I've been alcoholic before. Yep, I was an alcoholic for 22 years of my life. With addiction, there are a couple of substances. Yep, yep. You know, I'll tell you there. And I just, I don't know. I'm trying to take care of myself better, and it's leading me into weird places, and laughs is definitely a part of it. Piercing was not, I don't know, piercing was not very conductive to a healthy lifestyle. I, I can understand that. Personally, that's one of the few things that, like, as I've said earlier, like, either I'm interested completely or I'm just, I'm just not. Yep. And piercings for me was something that I was interested in a little bit at one point in time. And, like, I've, I've had both my ears pierced at one point in time, different times, you know what I'm saying? That's the most I did with that. And I didn't even, didn't even really like that. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, I'm just, that's, no, no this is not me. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And I've, I've had many different random things that I've tried or I've, I've started messing with and I'm like, at first I'm all in it and then I'm just like, you know, it's, it's just, it, you know, it don't keep me. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Piercing was fun. It was great. I did it for 13 fucking years. My dad and wife from 18 to 28, I think. You true, know. True. So, it was awesome, and I had great experiences, but at the end of the fucking day, it just wasn't where I needed to be at this point in my life. Right. You know? And boom! Brand new pipe all done. Fuck yeah! <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah! That was dope. 